Hey everybody. Let's do some Super Mario Galaxy again. Alright. Um that's right, this is my practice file. So that's kinda what I look like. Yeah. Um but this is the real file. Back to Mario. Okay. So for this star, we're gonna go back to the fountain. The fountain, the fountain, the fountain. And you'll see in later stages, I don't really understand why some of them are called what they are. You really call them anything, I think. We'll see. Maybe my memory is scratchy. Alright, so... Oh gosh, I feel like I'm coming down with a cold or something. I hope that's not the case. But we're going back to Space Junk. And... Find a space chunk. Space, space chunk, chunk. Camilla's airship attack. So this is one where we actually go to fight against the Red Wings. And, you know, during practice round, I realized that there were airships in Super Mario 3. And I think that came before Final Fantasy 4. So technically, Final Fantasy 4 was ripping off of Mario. Alright. Anyway, long jump over, and jump in the star, try to avoid Toad because he'll end up talking to you like, Ooh, you be <laughs> So, whatever, don't want to talk to you. Alright, if you break these boxes, the star bits come out, be careful with the Goomba in the middle. I gotta spin it a kick, that'll take them out. Star bits, more star bits. Oh, I love the star bits. Oh, I love them. Yes. Okay. And then I think it was up here. Yeah. See it? We're going through this thing. Damn, more star bits. Can never have enough star bits. I don't think there's anything up here, so you don't have to worry about that. Alright, this thing just spin. That clunks that open. And these buddies are cute. This one will say, hey look, you can jump and spin. This one will say, hey look, you can long jump and spin. So if you long jump and spin, you can get this one up up here. Long jump and spin back. There you go. Don't need a coin, so I'm going to skip it. Alright, I'm going to a sling star. Not a launch star, but a sling star. <laughs> and what I do here is I just knock that guy around and spin here. Collect some star bits. Backflip. Collect some more star bits. Whoa. A little too close, buddy. A little too close. Alright. Oh, I missed one. Okay. Oh, why can't I hit you? Why can't I hit you? There we go. And if you want, you can help the toad guys. I don't know, I always feel like I should. It's the Mario thing to do, right? With the turtle shell, you can bust those. Should I even call these a turtle shell or should I call them a Koopa shell? Oh, I missed. That's the debate of the century. Turtle shell or Koopa shell? I always call it a turtle shell because it looks like a turtle shell. But we all know it's a Koopa shell because that's, you know, shell of a Koopa. It's just the way it is. And there's... Oh, a magic Koopa got in the way. And as you notice, you don't have to grab the shell. You can spin, and it'll be, like, suctioned up to Mario. So, and this one is our launch star, because it really blasts us a lot further than the sling star. That's the only difference. All right. So now let's go over here. Ah. More star bits. Remember, 50's the magic number for one up on star bits. Alright. Oop. Some toadies. Some toadies. Free the toadies. Free toadies. Alright. Right here. Just jump on the backs. And you get their shell. Just like any other Mario game. Same thing. And this is what we want right there. Oh yeah. The life mushroom. I don't know if we... Yeah, we had one of those before. But 
I don't know if the red shell is different than the green shell. I know it is a Mario Kart, <laughs> but I don't know about this. Anyway, basically that's all you want to do here. That opens this bridge, and Sleek Star. Oh, I'm going to pause just for a minute. Oh, sorry about that, but nose is driving me nuts. I don't know why either. Okay, remember when uh, I was trying to describe the gravity and I said you can walk around most stuff as long as there's not a black hole? Good example here, don't try to walk down the bridge. As you notice, it's collapsed. Um, you can't walk down it, you'll get sucked into the black hole. Okay? So, yes, don't do that. Alright, let's take this Link Star up here. And this is the Camilla lady. Should have been Cammy. Well, no. Cammy should be later. That's right. I don't think this boss is very hard. Those are coins. If you get hit, that's what you should do. And you can also shoot these little gold things for coins. So there's like coins everywhere. But really, all you have to do is grab the green shell, aim, and try to hit her. Bam. It's really that easy. It's not that hard at all. Oh, so I'm recording this actually a week in advance. If you guys don't haven't noticed or whatnot, my recording schedule is... Um, I record a whole bunch of Earth Mounds in advance. And my Mario recordings, my Mario Galaxy recordings, are pretty much a day behind. So, this one is going to be an exception because I'm going to be doing some traveling. And, yeah, just thought I would let you know. In case, I don't know, in case you notice something about me that's different. Yeah. So, yeah. Planning on going to West Virginia and visiting people there and ooh, basically going out for, for business. So, yeah, that ought to be fun. Oh, I missed. So, that's why I'm recording these ahead of time. And that's why I'm also recording these at 2 in the morning. <laughs> Obviously, I can't hit anything. But, oh, Mario, Mario, Mario. Last one's always the hardest, right? Um, okay. But anybody hasn't been to West Virginia, I think it's a beautiful state. I can't hit this guy. Um, so I recommend going. Definitely. I'm not sure if there's any like famous things to visit there or see, but the scenery is just it's beautiful. And I'm actually gonna pause here to look at the scenery like I was saying I'm gonna start here um, now that I get the opportunity I love asteroid belts and every now and then oh, this camera angle is crappy but you can see a comet shoot by or a meteor I should say see them there they go and over here you saw it probably just a minute ago, but there it looked like there was a moon. Yeah, there it is. I believe it's actually sometime this month, or maybe next month, we're supposed to get uh, a blue moon. So, the, you know, they're saying, once in a blue moon? Well, guess what? It's coming up. Blue moon's coming up. So, watch it. Watch it, guys. <laughs> anyway, let's grab the star. So what, are, what do you all think about the uh, Curiosity landing on Mars this coming up Monday or Sunday, depending on where you live, huh? Yeah, yeah, cool stuff, cool stuff. Uh, I'll, I'll probably mention that a couple more times, but because of the way I'm recording, you probably won't hear about it until after we landed. So, ooh. It seems that a prankster comet has appeared somewhere. Mm -hmm. Prankster comets have very strange effects on galaxies. If you want to learn more about these curious comets, ask the Luma who knows about such things. 
and we will save. And what I'm actually going to do with the comments is save them pr probably until later. Because then it'll be like, when I do go back to them, it'll be like a whole refresher for the uh, galaxy that I'm visiting. So, yeah, I think that'll be pretty cool. But, yeah. There's this crazy little purple guy. Um, I don't really care to talk to him. I'm just going to walk around a little bit. Um, there was one thing I wanted to do. You can go on this thing. And you can also go in the dark areas, but it's hard to see, of course. And I just fell off. If you fall off, this is what happens. So you don't have to worry about dying or whatever, falling in a black hole. So, just just thought I should show you this main world. Whatever. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm just, I'm just kind of clouded around now. Um. I guess I should end the video. Yeah. Yeah. Oh look, green star. We'll get to those later. But yeah, I think I should end the video anytime now, right? Anytime. 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 Okay, seriously. I'll see you guys later.